So a fairly recent addition to round two is our line of model railroading accessories, which we've been doing for a couple of years here. Um, it's our mini metals line, or classic metal works. So we've done uh, we've done stuff through classic metal works. We've done some uh, other model train accessories, little buildings and things that went with it as well. There was a brief hold that was put on it last year, but we're back. We're making new mini metals. We got a new release that's coming out with a lot of really neat stuff in that. So we'll show you guys the artwork real quick for what's coming in mini metals, including some variations of some of our new tooling that came out last year. First is an HO scale here, the 1976 Chevy C10 Scottsdale Stepside Sport Truck. So this uh, C10 square body is a new tool for us. The only release or the releases we did before were a 73 uh, with a fleet side. So this is another tooling variation with different front grills and with a step side bed here. So something that's never been put out in mini metals before will be coming uh, throughout the year. You can see the three colors here, Hawaiian blue, Tangier orange and midnight black should be a great looking uh, release for that one. Also, we have our 1955 Chevy Cameo coming. So uh, before we did a 57, this is another fairly recent tool for mini metals that will be coming uh, with this variation this year. First in black and cardinal red here. We've also got it in Bombay ivory with cardinal red accents and in cardinal red with Bombay ivory accents there in HO scale. Next up, this is another tooling variation, the 75 Buick Estate Wagon. So we did uh, 74, 75, and 76 with different front ends for that. Uh, we have not brought the 75 out yet. So here it is in HO scale with two color variations, Verde Miss Green and Bittersweet. And we will be doing this one also in N scale where it will come as a two pack in that smaller scale with the, all the great wood grain detailing on it as well. Next up, we are doing HO combo sets again too. With the International R190 flatbed here, we'll come with a drum set uh, that can be set on top of it there. And another variation here with shipping crates, the cow care uh, truck with the cow care shipping crates. Another really cool variation for that one for your model railroad layouts. Next up, the 1964 F500 tractor with tanker trailer. So new, uh, we've used a lot of our, our different gas licenses. Uh, real famous licensing and, and this vintage decals for it. So you can see the Golf gasoline version here it goes with some of the other Golf stuff that we've done throughout the years. And then here we actually have a Texaco one as well in red uh, for that for that international or for that Ford uh, F500. Next up here it is in N scale in the 1954 Ford tractor with both Golf and Texaco for that variation. And lastly. Uh, our bottle truck was a fairly new casting. We did this, um, I believe, came out last year uh, for the bottle truck. So we've done some Coca-Cola bottle trucks before. This is a new uh, paint livery or a new paint job that will be uh, will be coming out with the red wheels and that vintage style yellow and black Coca-Cola truck. And the bottom version here is the Kool-Aid. So vintage Kool-Aid, really, really neat looking for that. So that's everything for our first release of mini metals. But keep your eyes out as we have a lot more mini metal stuff planned uh, throughout this year and next year as well. Lots of cool stuff coming.